Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Ryan Kelly and I'm going to be hosting you on another episode of Know Your Bosses. Know Your Bosses, if you're not aware, is a show where I'll review some of the most classic of bosses to the less known bosses. I'll rank them on their difficulty, creativity, appearance, and fighting style. And in the end, the boss will get a ranking from 1, avoid the fight, to 10, pursue the fight. So now that I've quickly gone over the rules, we can talk about the boss we'll be fighting today. Today I'm going to be discussing... Location. The Zamtrios' location can differ based on what game it's in and or what ranking you're fighting it in. It can only appear in icy areas, so the maps that you can fight it in are very limited. The maps that it can appear in are the Arctic Ridge and the Frozen Seaway. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate doesn't even have the Arctic Ridge as a map that you can go to, so the only place that it can appear in in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is the Frozen Seaway. In the Frozen Seaway, Zamtrios usually spawns in Area 2. I tried to find out where he spawns in the Arctic Ridge, but I was not able to find that. There's not that much you can say about the bosses for Monster Hunter in the location section because of how the game works. Boss Information Zamtrios' description from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and from Monster Hunter Generation states the following. Amphibians that strike from frozen waters, using the cold to stun their prey. They secrete a special liquid that both coats their own body with an icy armor and freezes any nearby foes. Frogs are their favorite food. This description explains why Zamchios' name is what it is. In English, the name means monster shark. Its name in Japanese is Zamboazagiru. I think that's maybe how you say it. I'm not sure. I don't speak Japanese, so I'm sorry if I butchered that really bad. My favorite animes consist of Toy Story, Cory in the House, Airplane instruction videos from the 80s, you know, Seinfeld. <laughs> that roughly translates to Frozen Demon. I personally think that this name sounds better than Monster Shark, but that's just my opinion. The Zamshiro surprisingly has more relatives than you might think. Those monsters are the Zamite and the Tiger Stripe Zamtrios. The Zamite are the baby version of Zamtrios and usually are around a Zamtrios during a fight. The Tiger Stripe Zamtrios is a subspecies that lives in the desert, which is the polar opposite of its counterpart that lives in the icy parts. Another monster that's kind of related to the Zamtrios is the Glacial Ignactor. The Glacial Ignactor is not a part of the Zamtrios family, like the Zamite and the Tiger Stripe Zamtrios, but they're related because of other things. They're related to each other because they can both make an armor of ice that they can activate at will, and you have to break off of them in order to do damage. Strategy! Before you can fight the Zamtrios, there are a couple of things that you should have with you. Make sure to either have an armor set with cold blooded, or bring along some hot drinks since the Zamtrios can only appear in cold areas. It's weak to the fire and thunder elements, so weapons with one of these elements on them will do more damage to it. The Zamtrios can get trapped in any type of trap, so bring all the traps you can to get some free hits and or capture it. 
I recommend that you bring shock traps just because it's easier to make than pitfall traps. You should also bring null berries because it can give you ice blight. And don't forget to bring cleanser so that if you get stuck in a ball of ice, you can break free more easily. Now let's talk about the actual fight itself. Zemtrios has a couple of different moves that you should be aware of. The Zemtrios will usually go with charging you. You can tell when it's about to charge you because it will stay still in this curled up position before it strikes. If it does not strike, then that means it's about to use an ice beam on you. It shoots the ice beam from right to left or from left to right. All you need to do to dodge the beam is to roll or to do a superman dive right as it passes you. If you have a shield, then you can use your shield to block the beam. If the beam manages to hit you, then you'll get hit by Ice Blight, which makes your stamina drain quicker when you run. The easiest solution to get rid of your Ice Blight is to use Null Berries. Another move that it will do is that it will try to find you and hit you from below. This move is actually pretty easy to dodge, but you should still be careful about the move because it can do a lot of damage to you if it hits you. Those are all the standard moves that the Zamtrios has. The Zamtrios has two other forms, being the Ice Form and its Bubble Form. The Ice Form is pretty much the same as its normal form, except you have to break its Ice Armor so that you're able to hit its skin again. The Ice is pretty easy to break, especially if you're using a blunt weapon. The Bubble Form has a few new attacks that you should be aware of. The first one is that in this form, it will jump towards you and it will roll forwards. This can do some damage if you're not careful, and its signature attack in this form is to shoot projectile ice balls that you can get stuck in. The attack for the most part is pretty easy to avoid. What I normally do to avoid the attack is to make sure that I stay behind it and hit its tail. Now if you're in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, then you'll have to move around just a little bit behind its tail. But if you're in Monster Hunter Generations, then what I like to do is I like to have the aerial ability equipped and keep jumping behind the tail until it breaks. Now you can move far from the monster while it's doing this to heal and or sharpen your weapons, but I'll usually always go for the free hits. The Zemtrios has a pretty obvious limp, so you shouldn't have any trouble telling when it's about to die. And that's everything you need to know about fighting the Zemtrios. Of course there's the Tiger Stripe Zemtrios fight, but I might do a separate video on that in the future. Rewards! Once you've successfully taken down the Zamtrios, you can use its parts to make some pretty good ice weapons. You can also make its armor set, but it's not the best set to make in my opinion. I'm going to be talking about Zamtrios' armor from Monster Hunter Generations, since it's the most recent Monster Hunter game that's been released as of the day this video comes out. For the Blade Master set, it has the ability Guard and Cold Blooded. The reason why I don't think that this set is good is because if you want an armor set with the cold blooded ability, then just make Gamoth's armor instead. And the gunner set has the ability recoil and cold blooded. I don't use bows or bow guns, so I'm not sure there's a good armor set to use for gunners. Final thoughts. Before I start this section of the video, I want to let you guys know that I've changed the style of the final thoughts segment. Instead of me giving the gameplay, difficulty, fun factor, and creativity their own rankings, I'm going to be talking about how each one plays in my final score for the boss. Anyway, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's start this section. One of my favorite things about the Zamtrios, and pretty much all the monsters from Monster Hunter, is that the fight will never be the same, because you can use a different weapon against it, and it can be different based on what ranking you're fighting it at. I would have to say that the Zamtrios is by far one of the most creative monsters from Monster Hunter. The design is very crisp, especially in Monster Hunter Generations. My favorite design of the Zamtrios has to be its ice form. Out of the three different forms that the Zamtrios has, I would have to say that the bubble form is my least favorite looking, but it is a very interesting concept that I enjoy. It's pretty fun to fight, and it doesn't really have anything that's super cheap, like some of the bosses from Monster Hunter. The fight is not super hard, but it's still always fun. My final score for the Zamtrios is a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed the fight, but of course it had some flaws. One of the main issues it had is that you can only fight it in two areas for the most part, and you mainly fight on the frozen seaway. Heck, while I was doing research for this video, I couldn't even find any footage or the mission where you fight Zemtrios in the Arctic Ridge. And another thing is that the Zemtrios is a little too easy in my opinion. Again, that could be because I used the hammer weapon. And he doesn't really have that many attacks that stand out in my opinion. In conclusion, the Zemtrios has a really cool design, and it's pretty fun to fight, but it doesn't have that many locations that it could be in, and the fight's pretty easy. 
So, what do you think about this boss? Do you think that this boss deserves a higher or lower ranking? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video or not. Also, make sure to click the like button if you liked the video, and hit that subscriber button. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Ryan Kelly, and I'll see you in the next episode of Know Your Bosses. We actually finished a Know Your Bosses video. That's amazing. Like, I'm so happy to be making this series again, because I made a bunch of it in 2014 and 2015, but then I lost interest for a while, and now I'm back. And I hope that you guys like the new style, because I really like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or not. Also, I'm sorry if I sounded weird in this video. I'm a little bit sick again. Not really sick, but just like have allergies and stuff because it's winter now. Woo! Yeah, and I love winter, but not nearly as much as Christmas. Whoa, that didn't make any sense. I meant to say not nearly as much as summer. My mind is really on Christmas right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. And that's how you date a video because I'm not sure if this is coming out in February or if it's coming out in December. I was going to have it come out in December because there's an ice boss and it's like Christmassy and stuff. But I don't want to announce that I'm making Know Your Bosses until 2016 during December. Because what I want to do is I want to have a month of Know Your Bosses. And this is what happens when I don't have a script in front of me. I just start not making sense. Like how I just did earlier and how I am right now. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this outro card because my back is hurting a little bit. As per usual, you know, I got to always bring up in my videos that I'm developing my celiosis. Even though I know now that it's not called celiosis, I think it's called cephiosis, something maybe. I don't know. I, I just need to look it up what it's actually called, and then I can just start saying the video and it actually can be correct. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to go wither and go start celebrating Christmas. That did not make any sense. I need a script in front of me in order to make sense. Oh my god.